the turtle has turned. The turtle, a.k.a. Mitch McConnell, the probably the most powerful Republican on Capitol Hill, mm. um, is no longer happy together with Donald Trump. Mm-hmm. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Um, anyway, um, the establishment of the Republican Party doesn't like Trump. We all know that. Um, and I think with the hard time that Trump is going to get, for the next at least two years and he is going to get a hard time you're they're going to try to take him out oh yeah i don't think he'll be convicted in the senate um but mcconnell he could block this whole thing and he could say to his uh 50 senators hey look this is bogus don't get behind this and that would be over but mcconnell did not do that and um the thing that's going to save trump is that there's going to be a report, but they may suppress the report from the FBI. It could be suppressed, but I know it's already been written that says there was evidence, they have evidence at the federal level, that this siege at the Capitol was designed well before January 6th. By uh, whom? By professional provocateurs, um, people who are disruptive, the Mm -hmm. Antifa of the right. Okay. So people have to understand Antifa, Black Lives Matter movement, those are the disruptors on the left, but there are disruptors on the right. Not as many, but they're there and they're nasty. And so once the uh, plan was to meet in Washington to protest the vote, these people swung into action and said, we're not just going to protest the ball. We're going to try to create mass chaos. And so that will come forth. And that just blows out the accusation that Trump planned all this. And, uh, you know, encouraged is not going to be enough. You'd have to prove that he incited it. There's a difference between encouraging something and inciting. Anyway, they're going to come after Trump and they're going to try to marginalize him as best they can. Mitch McConnell wants that to happen. Because they want to start afresh um, in four years, and somebody like Nikki Haley or uh, Governor Noam of South Dakota, somebody like that, um, that they're looking to put forth, not Trump. They don't want to go back because they realize how um, controversial. Now, there's one caveat. If the economy collapses, if we're in severe economic trouble, then Trump would take on a lot of power almost immediately. And then people would start to turn to the guy who's proven that he can run a very efficient economic engine. So that is if Trump wants it. You know, I, I think the guy's devastated myself. I, I have too. not spoken to him. I have not spoken to him. I think that he's had it. I think he should just pull back for six months, just watch, defend himself. Obviously, he's going to have to do that. Um, but there's going to be a, a rapidly changing landscape in America. People want to know that that the stuff that Biden is doing is not going to work out in the long run. It's not. And it's just a matter of how fast the progressives collapse. The um, the idea of uh, Donald Trump um, sitting on the sidelines, does he have the discipline? I mean, if if he sat back and was just invisible, except for defending himself in court, et cetera, et cetera, But if he were invisible for six to eight months and the economy or whatever starts to really go bad, he will be remit because it happens to every president. Once you leave, you start going, you know, that guy wasn't so bad. Um, And if he really stays out, but does he have the discipline to stay out uh, of the of the fray? Well, I I think he should watch the Elvis comeback special. (laughs) <laughs> Elvis kind Did of it. disappeared for a couple of years, remember? Right. And then it, then he had it then he got that leather jacket out of the closet, dusted it off. And but Elvis and but Elvis off. changed. Elvis didn't do the Elvis when he disappeared. Elvis came back and did something entirely different. But that's what Trump's gonna have to do. So Trump is, you know, he basically should go to the mountain 
and you could, you know, and, and I think he's going to write a book. I don't know anybody who's going to publish it, but I'll help him. Yeah, uh, he doesn't you know, need I'll a publisher. Do, I'll go, he yeah, I'll go door to door with him. Yeah. Um, so, you know, at this point in history, the, the strength that traditional America has is twofold. And, and people don't know that they're very distraught and they're angry and they're lashing out and all this. I say the traditional forces are coming back strong for two reasons. Number one, the judiciary that Trump put into place. And that's why the progressives hated him so much. The three mm-hmm. Supreme Court justices and all the other circuit justices, uh, judges. And the second thing is the progressive policies are horrible. You can't run a country this way. You can't devastate the fossil fuel industry because there's a theory that climate change is going to uh, overwhelm Long Island. I mean, everybody wants a cleaner planet, and, and technology is so rapidly developing that we'll be able to yep. have yep. a blend of it's all happening energy and fossil fuel. It's all happening right now. Yeah. But the way the heavy handed totalitarianism that uh, the New York Times and Hollywood and all these people are encouraging, uh, loudly encouraging, is Senator McCarthy got destroyed. But at one time, he was the most powerful senator in the country. That's going to happen again. You wait and see, Beth. You- 